Hello everybody. Hope you are all doing well. Sam, the librarian here, and it is time to celebrate Passover. And uh, we have some things for Passover here. We have some matzah, what, which is what we eat for Passover. And here we got our Seder plate and our Kiddush cup for Elijah, who is always coming to every Seder. So we always uh, set something aside for him. Now today, we are going to read a story called It's Seder Time. Now we got a special guest here who is going to join us for our story time. My good friend, Moo Moo. Moo Moo the cow. How are you doing? I'm very good. Do you enjoy Passover? Mm-hmm. You ready to hear the story? Oh, yes! Hi, everybody! All right, now Mumu's going to be a good listener, and so Mumu's going to settle down next to me, and we are going to begin our story called It's Seder Time. And this is by Latifa Berry Krupp, in photographs by Todd Cohen. Spring is here. It's time to play in the sunshine. And it is time to get ready for Passover. See? We've collected the cookies, crackers, and because those things we do not eat on Passover. And so we will take them to the food bank. Now it's time to make matzah. Matzah, just like this. So, we roll out the dough and punch holes with a fork so it won't rise. And see? See them rolling out the dough? Looks like a lot of fun. Now, we chop up apples and nuts for charosis, which reminds us of the mortar the Israelite slaves used to make bricks in Egypt. Mmm. Apples. I see two. Do you see two red apples in one green apple? See that? Now Ellie is filling Elijah's cup with grape juice, and Samantha will fill Miriam's cup with water. So as I said, we have Elijah's cup right here. So you can see that. Sherry is covering the three matzah with a special cloth. All over here, the Seder plate has a bone, an egg, parsley, bitter herbs, and chlorosis. Now that's a filled Seder plate. This one we don't have anything on yet. This is just a plate without all that stuff. To begin the Seder, we light candles and sing a blessing over the grape juice. See? And we dip, we dip parsley in salt water and remember the tears of the Jewish slaves. Hmm. Now Michael breaks the middle matzah and Cantor Allen will hide the bigger piece called the afikamen. And Megan is chanting the four questions. Why is tonight different from all other nights? And so we tell the story of Passover. Pharaoh's daughter found baby Moses floating in a basket in the river. And when Moses grew up, God sent him to free the Israelites. Let my people go, he told Pharaoh. But Pharaoh said no. So 
So God sent the Egyptians many punishments. And one day, when Pharaoh woke up, millions of frogs were jumping all over the place. And finally, Pharaoh told the Israelites to leave. When they got to the sea, Moses raised his walking stick, and the sea parted. When they got to the other side, they sang, they danced, and thanked God for their freedom. So our story is finished, and now it's time to eat. We got matzah and karosis, and that makes the best sandwich. See, that looks delicious. Now Dina is happy because she found the afikoman. Well, she's a good finder. And Caitlin opens the door to see if the prophet Elijah is coming. Ah, she's looking for him. And we finish our Seder with our favorite songs. Happy Passover. Hey, Moo Moo, come over here. Moo Moo. Moo Moo. Did you enjoy that story? Yes, 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 I enjoyed it very much. Do you want to finish with a, singing a Passover song? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Well, what's your favorite Passover song? Mm, I like Dianu. All right. Let's sing. Die, die, anu, die, die, anu, die, die, anu, die, anu, die, anu, die, anu, die, die, anu, die, die, anu, die, die, anu, die, anu, die, anu. All right, everybody. Happy Passover. Take care, and we hope to see you soon.